27th of August 1944. Today, the cobbled, pretty streets of Warsaw's old town are peaceful and calm. But on this day, as throughout the whole of August, the fighting for this old town area was intense. A young Polish soldier named Stanisław Rykienik, who'd served in the Polish underground army throughout the long years of Nazi occupation and had executed spies, traitors, and SS officers serving in a specialist unit, was ordered into attack. As him and the rest of his troops are running forward, a German soldier jumps out with a flamethrower uh, and tries to, 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 to kill them. At that exact moment, a strong wind blows back and the soldier ends up setting fire to himself uh, and, and killing himself. Then, as they move forward again, uh, they're hit by an artillery attack. The rest of his unit are wiped out. Suddenly, there's a huge explosion and Likernik is knocked to the ground. A 1,000 pound heavy bomb has just landed a few yards away from him, but hasn't detonated. The Germans continue to use their remote control Goliath mines to attack the Polish positions. In response, the Poles have their own answer, what they call their Davids, hand grenades. So 3,000 years after the original uh, David versus Goliath fight, the battle is fought again in Warsaw's Old Town streets. Thanks for watching this episode of 63 Days of Extraordinary Courage, where every day we tell the story of the Warsaw Uprising. Please comment in the comment section below and share this film. Don't forget to tune in to tomorrow's episode, 5 p.m. Warsaw time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time.